Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Nathan back with another video. It's been too long. But anyways, the topic for this one is more bank downgrades as S&P Global um, came out with more downgrades to a bunch of regional banks' credit ratings, essentially. And um, the general theme of things is um, very high commercial real estate, multifamily exposure, all a both assets which are um, definitely struggling right now they boomed significantly over the past two or three years and now as higher interest rates start to kick in um, i know with a lot of these multifamily properties especially um some ones that were having trouble is there's some in new york where they have rent controls but obviously the rent is controlled but i think if anyone owns any kind of property whether it's the insurance the costs the utilities the costs have absolutely skyrocketed for these properties essentially so the costs are way up but the rents are controlled so there's a lot of properties that um the math no longer works and then you add on top of that higher interest rates and then um, for a lot of these office properties you have vacancy rates still continuing to climb um it's creating a lot of trouble and i think we're in the early innings right now of um definitely something that could impact the whole economy well it already it already has like i said part of the reason we've seen lending standards go up so much is because all these other banks they see the risks in the system right now and everyone is trying to like i said it's been harder to, to lend to consumers it's, it's been hard to lend to businesses for a while now part of that i'll, I'll get into later but um things have tightened as the risk has gotten higher and higher and you know so you have a lot of these also past past mortgages and stuff like that that are going to be rolling with commercial real estate these they're really refinanced every five or five to ten years or so so uh, you have a lot of really low interest rate debt that's going to rolling over it needs to be refinanced and the math just doesn't work and then on top of that the demand isn't there like i was saying the vacancy rates so how are you going to charge more when the demand is almost at like a an all-time low I, I won't i can't confirm that but obviously the demand is really low for these properties right now especially at, and then um, the high prices it just makes things worse essentially so yeah um i don't think we'll see any of the larger banks i don't think it's going to be a 2008 where we see all of these larger banks really go under or where basically just everyone goes under but the risk is all in most of these smaller regional banks and that really impacts everyone in a type of way but I, I just see more consolidation coming to the industry over the next two five ten years I just the number of banks is gonna get smaller and smaller and consolidate and consolidate more because it is just um, gotten so hard for these banks these smaller banks to compete things haven't really gotten better since 2023 of last year when SVP went under Signature Bank things have the environment for these smaller banks has not gotten better because as the we have these higher interest rates now essentially and um, what was happening too is a lot of deposits were leaving going into money markets brokerages where you could get higher interest rates because for a while I'm sure you should you see the interest rates on your savings accounts it's like point it's almost nothing so all of these smaller banks they saw people obviously because people were scared that their small bank was going to go under they started taking their deposits out and trying to get to safety so what these banks had to do is they had to raise the interest rates on deposits so you saw a lot of these smaller community banks finally offering like really high interest rates on cds savings accounts over five five and a half so they were having to raise the interest rates to attract customers to come back or to keep customers um, but what to do that obviously you have to pay out more so we've seen the margins for a lot of these smaller banks shrink 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 the interest margins are getting smaller and smaller and yeah people were still leaving I mean deposits are still down we haven't gone back up really too much from last year and over the past couple of months especially with New York Community Bank who had been struggling and they had a commercial real estate problem too and they did mentioned um, two buildings that they were struggling with and that's kind of what led to their collapse and we'll probably see more of that in the future unfortunately but yeah the environment for these smaller banks back to that just hasn't
gotten better. The proper margins have been shrinking, 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 and they've had to compete, really compete for deposits. And yeah, it gets to a point where these loans go bad and people start leaving again. I mean, there's not much else they can do, but we're just kind of in, I think, right now, just this waiting period. No one wants to sell any of these, these assets. No one wants to sell these multifamily properties. Everyone just wants to just sit and wait, and that's what we're doing. You're not seeing a lot of sales of these things. We're still just in this waiting period, I think, just to calm before the storm. Maybe towards the end of this year, maybe early next year, but I think we're kind of in the early innings right now of um, something brewing up. And um, yeah, like as I mentioned earlier, I think the end result, unfortunately, is just more consolidation to the banking industry. And, you know, I work at a big bank now. We don't, we're not really the ones who service small businesses. We don't, none of the big banks really want to do that. I don't, it's probably a mix because of risk and we, we're under much more regulation than the smaller banks. But yeah, we don't really, even when interest rates were really low, we only really, we only really want the established businesses. Well, th those people can get low rates, but everyone else, small businesses, you're still, we either decline you or you're getting a higher interest rate or you can get a lower interest rate somewhere else. It's mainly these smaller community banks and regional banks that are the ones who do small business loans. They're the ones who make these small businesses run, essentially. They're the ones who help them grow. And it's just gonna get harder and harder for any of that to happen with just more consolidation, more regulation, the bigger just gonna get bigger and then it's gonna leave, I think a lot of, it's gonna just become a lot harder for small businesses to grow over the next decade. That's just a long-term trend that I see potentially happening. I mean, you just need so much now as a bank with, um, it's so hard for these smaller banks to compete now, especially with the sentiment that's been out on them they've like I said before they've had to decrease their margins to try and compete for deposits they have assets that are going bad because most of the regions most of the commercial real estate is held by all these smaller banks the big banks don't really do too much of that but so they're holding bad assets right now they're having to shrink their margins in order to compete for deposits it's just not a good business for them right now and then there's so much stuff you need now as a bank I mean if you don't have a good fraud protection with the amount of fraud that's going on globally if you don't have these large tools if you don't have economies of scale like a chase a wells fargo a city that is just all over has their footprint all over the world they can have it, it makes sense for them they can have a huge a huge teams of these but as a smaller bank it's just really hard to compete in almost all aspects right now and it's um it's really unfortunate it's really unfortunate i don't want to see it but um i think that's where it's headed unfortunately the big big get bigger and then the smaller you either consolidate and merge which a lot of the smaller banks have been doing or you just close your doors and go out of business unfortunately but um yeah curious to hear what you guys thoughts are thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you guys next time